Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer's tutorial. Today is part two of how to turn your sketches into a vector illustration. So uh, we'll be getting jumping right into that right after this. Okay guys, so as you can see, we um, today we're going to learn how to change this from this. Last time we learned how to change your sketch into this and then um, so today we're going to be um, finishing it off with some shadows and some different texture stuff so um, uh, I've got this one up here and so we're gonna switch that over and make it look like this one down here okay so let me jump right in here um, as you can tell I made uh, the the bottom of his um, mouth and nose a little bit different color than this so it would give a little bit more contrast and you'd be able to tell um, see different features a little bit easier so I'm gonna go ahead and change that real quick so you're gonna go you're gonna need to go and grab your pen tool here by selecting P and once you have it put set the fill to you could set it over here and I'm gonna set it to this color drag down here pick up the color over here and that's what I'm gonna set the fill to and I'm not gonna set any stroke because it's gonna be behind this stroke so I'm gonna open the layers open this artboard layer and I'm going to click click on inking so it'll go automatically into that folder okay so I just got this done and as you can tell I have the um, tongue a little bit covered up so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and drag this into the layer and open this layer up pull this under the tongue and that fix that problem and I think I have a little bit of problems here so I'm gonna go ahead and fix those okay so it looks like everything's good and I'm going to zoom out here quite a bit better than it did before and so that's the first step and then usually what I do next is put in all the shadows so um, I'm going to show you a few examples and then I'm just going to paste the uh, copy paste these shadows in so I don't have to go through um, the whole thing in this tutorial and go through the whole thing and making each new shadow so and then I'm gonna show you how to do the background so you gotta decide where the light is gonna come from sometimes it actually helps to draw like a circle or something to remind yourself of where the lights coming from um, on this the light is coming from here the reason there's a shadow back here is just because that's what lots of people do they put shadows going this way and I decided I don't feel like changing all the shadows around again so it sort of looks like the lights coming from here but it's actually coming from here on this dog for the dog shadows so I'm gonna go ahead and um, grab this circle mark and I'm gonna go ahead and make a little white spot to show you where the light is gonna be coming from so the lights coming from here and it's actually going to be up here further so it's not so direct and hard but it's still going to be coming from here and there might be a little bit of other light coming different directions so I'm going to go ahead and grab my pen tool by pressing P and I'm going to zoom up here and um, to make shadows I turn it on I change the opacity and I'm also going to on the layers panel I'm also going to click off of any everything so it's not selected onto anything except for this artboard and um, then it'll then it will um, make the shadow in its own layer and then I can um, then I can group all the shadows and name them shadows for like inking and outlines I'm going to click on this gray stuff down here which is nothing and I'm going to come up here and now we have the shadow it's actually white right now obviously um, so I'm going to change it to black 
Turn down the opacity. And voila, you have a shadow. Usually I also, um, if I want to adjust it, I bring it out. Um, I think I need to adjust it and bring it out a bit. If the light so it'll, it'll look a little bit better. Okay. So I think that's probably a pretty good shadow. It's actually a lot bigger than the other one, but um, just depends where the light's coming from. But, uh, so what, something else I do with shadows is I click on the layer, click on the FX down here, the FX in the layers panel, and I go ahead and get on Gaussian Blur and turn the radius up just a little bit. Just a little bit, like right to there. The more you turn it up, the more farther back the light looks like it is. So, I'm going to click exit. Then something else I also do sometimes for different shadows is I click on my transparency tool. I drag and this is transparency is on the wrong side so I'm going to go ahead and click the um, reverse and that'll reverse it so I don't have to drag it all the way around and I'm going to put it around about right here so it looks like it's a little bit darker back in here and a little bit lighter on the other side okay I'm going to click off of this and then you can zoom out to see how it looks. It might be a little bit too big, but um, you can always adjust that. So now I'm going to copy paste and delete the layer that we just created. And I'm going to um, open Dog 3 artboard and click on the shadows layer. To copy it, you click Command C. And then I'm going to click on my um, doc2 artboard and com hit command V. I'm going to adjust it. Okay, that looks about good. Got my shadows on. Okay, so now that I've got my shadows on, I'm going to go over how to create this textured effect in the back and this is very easy I'm sure you can I'm sure you could you already know this but I'm just gonna show you how just in case I'm gonna click on the pixel persona and then I will click on the dialog menu up here and it will show me different um, options that I can click on. So I'm going to click on the Frank Frankentune Textualizer Pro sample. And this is just a free sample that I got. And I'll put the link in the description if you haven't already downloaded it. And so this is the brush I used for this. And so I click on this. Grab my paintbrush tool and it's just start painting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn down the opacity so it won't look really dark and it'll just be very um, soft and sort of just you can barely faintly see it, sort of like in this one. And after I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click on pixel on this layer. I'm going to rename it Texture. And I'm going to select one of these blend modes. I think overlay will do fine. I think I like uh, overlay's blend mode pretty well. It just sort of darkens. It doesn't really make it look gray. So I'll, now I'm going to sort of paint around the edges, make it totally solid color around the edges and not just textured. So the focus will be more drawn to the the dog. I forget if I did I did this to the other one, but uh, did the overlay blending mode. But um, I think this is gonna work pretty well. 
And then to make it look darker, also, I um, went back to the draw persona and selected my rectangle tool. And selected my rectangle tool and do this thing across here to turn the stroke to none. And with this, I clicked on my transparency tool and I just drag. And this is l called linear. The type is called linear. Click on here, on the arrows here, and it will show you different options that you can click on. I'm going to click on elliptical. And what elliptical does is it makes it a circle or an oval, whichever shape you want, uh, shape of gradient you want. So I'm going to go ahead and change the gradient. I'm going to switch it so the darker is out and I'm going to make it sort of an oval that is longer this way. Okay, so I did that and now I have this rectangle here that sort of gives it the darker the darkness on the edges look. So after you've done that, um, you, I'm going to show you how to do the text real quick. And the dog up here, text. And I'm going to drag. This is going to be Arial Black. So I think um, Finity Designer comes with that. So I'm going to type dog, obviously. And then you're going to want to click on the effects you want to click on the effects down here on the layers panel and you're going to go to inner shadow turn this up turn the radius up a bit and then actually I think I turned it up all the way and then turn the offset up a little bit. Actually, I don't think I turn the radius up all the way. Just mess around with it until you like it pretty well. Okay, I'm going to turn my radius to just a little bit more. Okay, I think that's about good. And you can turn up the intensity also, make it darker. But I think I'm fine. So, then I'm going to go to outline. Turn up the radius a bit. And make sure it's on the outside. So the alignment is on the outside so it doesn't go inside the D and make it sort of the letters look a little bit more tiny or thin. So then we're going to, then you can uh, exit off here. Then we're going to go up here and hit this button that aligns it to the middle. So it will look perfect. And we're going to also go back here into the pixel persona. Okay, so we're going to go back to brushes. And this is a different brush to this time. It's also in the same set, but it's different. It's this brush that has a bunch of little dots. And I'm going to grab that brush and I'm going to start painting. I'm also going to stick dog behind this rectangle so it'll be a little bit darker and blend in a little bit more. There we go. And so. Um, we have one more thing to do, and that's going to be the shadow. Okay, so there you go. It's basically the same, except that this, um, since I uh, made the uh, texture in the background with the overlay blend mode, that made it a little bit more greenish down here and not quite as dark as over here. This thing is actually a little bit bluer than this, but um, that's basically all. And so. Um, Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe, and uh, if you want more Affinity Designer tutorials, 
Also, um, please give me a likes. Please give me a like because I'm um, trying to get uh, lots of likes on this video. And if you have any questions or if you want to recommend me doing a uh, different, like a certain tutorial, uh, please comment in the area below. And thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks. Bye.